friends what's up don't look at me for too long because i just landed i just got to my hotel it's um 9 30 here in santa monica but it's basically midnight in uh, toronto and we all know i sleep at 10. i wanted to give you guys a room tour before i mess this place up this is the washroom this is what it looks like in true beauty brand trip fashion we have everything here that i will need for this trip which i'm very excited about because you guys know i packed light we have the foundations we have concealer do you remember the setting spray i was looking for this we have their mascara blushes of course we have this this room is so cute i'm gonna eat all the candies in there and then yeah that's the closet so yeah it's really cute and then over here we have some we have a little snack um area here i got some chocolate and then i believe these are the new products that are about to launch and i'm actually going to open this on camera tomorrow when i'm nice and fresh um we have some cookies some popcorn some chips lots of water so it says welcome to la thank you so much for joining us to celebrate the launch of the kind words collection please meet us in the lobby on wednesday at 6 p.m sharp for a private session with selena we can't wait to meet you and then it's the rare beauty team this is what i was looking for so i am actually going to take a rapid test tomorrow morning or i might even take it tonight let's see um and then i have to send it over to the like the team just before we obviously have our meet and greet and stuff just to be safe i just showered and i washed my face and everything and now my face feels so dry so this is the only moisturizer i brought so i'm gonna pack it on and then we're about to do the COVID test. So I've never done one of these before. And so I have to figure out. Okay, so. Okay, I'm not going to show you guys swabbing my own nose, okay? Thank you. I think I did it. Now I leave it on this and I wait 15 minutes. Good morning. It's 6.30 a.m. <sighs> technically 9 30 because la is three hours behind i'm gonna get up i'm gonna shower and then we're gonna go work out since it's 6 30 there's no stores or anything even open um so we're gonna try to you know be productive until the mall or something opens i'm gonna upload a vlog that i edited in the flight yesterday as well okay vlog is uploaded now it's time to go to the gym it's still only 7 45 i think the stores don't open till 10 so we have a lot more time to kill i didn't end up going to starbucks i just made a coffee here so what we'll do whoa what we'll do is after the workout we'll go grab another coffee because i'm planning on hitting at least 15,000 steps before i have to get ready uh i didn't bring running shoes or anything so that's how i'm gonna do my cardio speaking of which i can't breathe so I'm gonna have one of these bars for breakfast. These are the soft bake, just healthy bars. Ew, I'm not gonna do the banana bread, but I am gonna do this one. It's 170 calories. Not enough protein, but it'll get me going. So let's go to Starbucks. Let's get some coffee. It's like everyone's still sleeping, you guys. The lady at Starbucks asked if these were my kids, and I said yes. And I walked away before she asked any more questions. I don't any makeup, but I might see if I can find like a. A Sephora or an Ulta or something like that where I can buy like a better moisturizer There's actually a Target about an 11 minute walk So I think we're gonna walk to Target first because Target is open. We'll browse around in there I'll see if I get any things. I might want like a different shirt because I don't I guess it is a little obnoxious that I'm just wearing me and Rosario on my shirt. Make sure I drink all my water and It's a small Target, but I'll still browse so I came for breakfast. Might as well kill some time. And avocado toast. And then I got some scrambled eggs. Oh my god, guys, there's so many squirrels here. And they don't even run away from you. I wish I had food. I would actually give it to them. But I don't. I'm trying to walk down there. Except malls are about to open now, so I'm thinking I should go to the stores. I want to show you guys what I'm going to wear. So I got this from I got this from H&M and it's so cute. 
it's not fitted it's so light it's flowy it looks like a very long like kurta style i sounds like i'm saying kurta but i'm not kurta um and it looks literally just like this um and it doesn't have any button ups but it has openness here so i want to wear it it looks really cute it goes up to like right here i brought my wig with me because i think i'm gonna wear it with my wig if not i'm gonna do like a sleek uh, bun. I was walking by Aldo and I remembered that my mom really wanted these type of shoes So I facetimed her and I picked these up in her size with that I'm gonna wear these shoes the Chanel shoes that I showed you guys I was a little stressed about what I was gonna wear But now I'm a little excited because I did try it on and I think it looks really cute I'm gonna start getting ready at around 3 o'clock even though we don't have to be ready by 6 But I want to give myself a lot of time. So now I'm gonna rest for an hour now Today was crazy. I ended up getting 16, no, I ended up getting like 19,000 steps. So that's good. And then I rested for like a very long time. I'm actually going to do my, I like, I curled the hair. I put some braids in it as well. And now I'm debating if I want to do my makeup with the hair on. I think I'm going to just leave it on, to be honest. The most annoying thing that I did though is I didn't bring a mirror with me this is the only mirror i have we'll use it whatever it's fine oh actually i want to show you guys the new lipsticks so they're lipsticks and they're lip liners and i think these launch like in a few days the models in here are so pretty i might want to do the one that she's wearing here which i think is gifted so these are how they look why am i so annoying this isn't like a um it's almost like I don't want to say whirl from MAC, but you know, it's not like a purple, so it's really pretty. I'm obviously starting off with my color corrector. This is from Live Tinted in the color Balance. There we go. I'm just going to let it chill for a bit, and then I'll put in my concealer in like a second. I'm literally using my iPhone, at, like my iPhone camera as a mirror, so let's hope this doesn't backfire. So after I have this on, I like to just tap it out just a little bit. I don't blend it until later and then I'm gonna let it dry for a second for bronzer I'm using my Laguna NARS Laguna original and ugh, I know I told you guys this already but this is so good you only need a little bit though by the way see if I had the wig on like I wouldn't be able to go so deep into into my cheekbones whenever I contour by the way I don't I never bring it back I never bring it past like right here right at the end of my eyes it just makes your contour look a lot more natural Lash, i'm gonna use these two rare beauty ones which is in the color lucky it's like a neon pink it's so pretty and then on the inside i'm gonna be using this color called bliss and then when you blend it together it'll just be like a nice ombre effect i blend out bliss first right here and then i do don't be afraid of it it's totally gonna blend out this is the always an optimist 4 in 1 mist and i'm gonna shake it and then i'm gonna spray it and i'm gonna let it dry then i'm gonna start with all the powders <clears throat> now i'm gonna set my face i'm gonna bake with this i do feel like it looks really good in photos then i'm just gonna take some of my bronzer and put it on my eyelids as well you guys know how i brought this little fenty what's this thing called it's called the fenty glow diamond bomb and I like to take this and I want to, I just like tap it onto my eyelids and it gives like the slightest bit of shimmer. Okay guys, this is the finished look. I'm going to quickly show you guys my outfit, then I got to go. So this is my outfit. It's like a very flowy top situation. It's all I had to work with. Honestly, at such last minute, I would want it, like I wanted to order some clothes online, but it just didn't happen. So I think I was able to pull it off. Hey guys, look how pretty. It's only 9 p.m. So I came back just a little bit early. You guys, Selena Gomez, like I'm not a celebrity type of person. Like I don't fangirl over celebrities. I don't really care for them. But when we walked in the room, that's why I didn't vlog too much. We walked in the room. There's us girls, like there's only maybe 10 of them. We walked in the room and she, Selena Gomez was just sitting there. She was, I literally, before she got up, I thought she was just one of us influencers it just wasn't over the top crazy as how you would expect a lot of celebrities to be i'm so thankful that i actually got to meet her 
and say hi to her whereas like i've met a few other influencers here who said they went to other celebrity owned brands and you weren't even allowed to say hi to her and stuff but she invited all these influencers to promote her skincare brand i really appreciate that selena gomez was she's very involved in her brand i, I honestly we had time with her so you were allowed like one-on-one -on -one time with her to say hi, to talk to her, to take any type of TikToks. They were like, whatever type of TikTok trend you want to do, you can do it with her. Just let her know. But I was too shy and I didn't want to take up too much of her time. And then I told her I literally just want a boomerang and I just want a photo and I don't want to take too much of her time. So that's all I did. I didn't do anything extra. Taking off my makeup, I don't really like using makeup wipes because I feel like it's too much friction on my skin my allergies are so crazy right now for no reason i'm very sleepy because technically in toronto it's 8 it to 1 a.m so i'm just taking off all my makeup then i'm gonna go to sleep good morning you guys it's I keep checking for my apple watch it's 5 30 a.m my driver isn't coming to pick me up until 8 45 this thing even though it looks huge it's actually 85 ml so it's under 100 ml so i'm actually just going to take them in my carry-on and then if they ask me to take it out they ask me to take it out but it shouldn't be an issue at all i've been doing this for so long that it's just it's just nice to feel like okay you're still kind of in the space i don't know if that makes sense but it's really nice um so i'm gonna try to figure out how i want to do this i'm all packed now i think i'm gonna head over to starbucks um i'm gonna get some coffee and i'm gonna, gonna get like a yogurt parfait i'm gonna walk around i think i only have about an hour have you guys ever heard of these houses they've like been viral on the internet for so many years hold on guys hold on I want them to take it from my hands, the squirrels, but I'm too scared. Like if my dad or Zare or someone else was here. I'm sitting in the lounge and I got myself like a yogurt parfait with some fruit. Uh, my flight doesn't leave until like another hour or so. So I'm gonna eat this because the ride here made me so nauseous. And normally I don't come to the, the, the lounges or whatever, but I needed to just put like get some yogurt and also some alcohol in my system okay i'm leaving the lounge because i'd rather walk i have four thousand steps left to do so i'm gonna do just that we're ready for takeoff <laughs> so um i've already like i've been back from the trip for a few days now just getting my shit together you know um hold on let me put you here so i'm in currently i am making a pit stop so zyra my niece she's been sick for a few days and my mom's been telling me like she's sick she's not acting normal she doesn't want to play she loves taking showers and she doesn't even want to get into the shower um, and then today she called and she's like Zara's throwing up and stuff. So I feel so bad for her came to a toy store the Store is called mastermind toys. I'm gonna get her some toys and then I'm gonna go um, And see her she loves like cooking and stuff. So I'm thinking I should get her like one of these Or the ones behind for dishwashing. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so I got her that little kitchen thing and now I want to get her like a set of um, like fruit that she can cut fruit and then maybe I'll get her this like um, plate set it's already pre-wrapped too so that's really cute success now back to driving Zyra did we get done yeah. with your little oven it took us so long honestly <laughs> I work up it took us three people to finish it 50 minutes, and three people 50 minutes? Yeah. oh my god so cute Bubba <laughs> this even light up. Okay, wow, kitty. <laughs> okay, you guys remember this thing I got from Costco? I'm finally spray painting it, and I think it's gonna turn out really, really cute. I can tell. Um, so I'll show you guys when it's done. It has little baskets that'll be tomorrow, or maybe in a bit. 
done and it's dried and you guys it looks so cute so it was like a matte black before but obviously i have nothing matte black in my house so the spray paint i just got from home depot and look how nice and smooth it actually turned out like you wouldn't have guessed that this was black before hi i love you i love you 